In this video, I will show you how to quickly import files into Google Colab directly from Google Drive. And without further ado, we're starting right now. So traditionally, in order to import files into Google Colab, you would do the following. You could click on the file icon and then let's say that we're connected and then you'll drag and drop the files into it like here and then it will upload the file. And so this particular file will be about 100 megabytes. And as you can see, 100 megabytes will take quite some time to upload. And what about a one gigabyte file here? This movie file is from a video on the Coding Professor YouTube channel, and it is 1.3 gigabytes. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how you could quickly import this into Colab very quickly. And so as you can see, Uploading just 100 megabytes will take quite some time. Okay, so in the meantime, while it is uploading this 100 megabytes, let me show you how to quickly import files directly from Google Drive. So let's hop on to Google Drive. So both of these files I have already uploaded into Google Drive in the data folder. And so what I will do now is I'll have to activate the permission. I'll right click on the file, click on get link. And then for restricted, you want to click on any one with the link. And then you want to copy the ID of the file, which is right here. So copy the ID, copy it, click done, and then go back to Google Colab. And as you can see, it's still downloading the file. So why don't I show you how to do that very quickly? So you want to type in exclamation mark, G D O W N, and then double dash and then ID, and then the ID of the file. And then you run the cell, and then it's finished. 116 megabytes in about a second for downloading, but then it's taking time to finalize the download. And the speed is at 65 megabytes per second. And so it took about four seconds to download this 116 megabytes. And as you can see, the traditional way of uploading it to the file panel here, it is still not finished. Okay, so what about, let me try importing the 1.3 gigabytes from the Google Drive. Let's see how fast that is. So in a similar fashion, you wanna right click on the file, click on get link and then click on the restricted drop down, And then you wanna click on the anyone with the link and then copy the ID of the file, right click, copy, go back to the Google Code Lab and then exclamation mark G D O W N dash dash ID space bar and then the ID paste it in run the cell and then let's see how fast that is so it took about 10 seconds to download it and let's see how long for finalizing the download and the speed of download is at 121 megabytes per second and as you can see here the 100 megabyte file is still uploading and let's wait for it. And it takes about 35 seconds. So in 35 seconds, you could transfer the file from Google Drive directly into the Colab. And all of this without the hassle of using the Pi Drive library. So no need for authentication. So this is very convenient. And then you could run your code cell as usual. Okay, so let me show you what if you wanted to do the traditional approach, the other traditional approach, aside from uploading here. So you click on here, the icon of the code snippet, and then you wanna click on the download files right here. Download files, let's see which one, it's this one, download files. Yeah, and then you wanna click on insert, and then this code will allow you to access your Google Drive. And so it might be a bit more powerful in that you could activate this and then you could have access to you know your entire Google Drive but for simplicity if you want access to only a single file you just activate the file and then you include it into your code cell and then subsequently you could make use of the file immediately after you download it and so if you're finding value in this video please support the channel by smashing the like button subscribe if you haven't already and make sure to hit on the notification bell so that you will be notified of the next video. And as always, the best way to learn data science is to do data science. And please enjoy the journey.